Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use weld, trim, and intersect options in Corel Draw. So open Corel Draw and create new document. I'm going to choose A4 size and going to keep rest of the settings as is. Now click on OK and you will have your document ready. Okay. Now here, I'm going to first create one shape. So this is my circle from ellipse tool. I'm going to add one color to it. Now, once I create this one shape, I'm also going to add some outline to it so that we can differentiate when we check these properties. Now, let's add one more shape. Now, this shape is going to be smaller. So this is my another circle on the top of the previous one. Now let's change its color to something like pink. Now, as you can see, we have these two circles intersecting on top of each other. You can change its outline, let's say to white, so that you can see exactly how much area it gets. Now select both these two colors and these two circles now selected let's take a look at top property bar here you have option for weld trim and intersect so let's first take a look at weld so when we do weld the last circle which has this purple color will be mixed into this intersected circle so these two will be purple after we hit weld button. So let's do that. And as you can see, your new circle also has the same color to that of your previous one. So this welding actually adds that circle into your existing one. Okay, this can be handy for creating some shapes which are more complex in nature. Again, do the control set and you will get your circle back. Now, as you can see, we still have the intersection here and we are going to see if we can trim the area. So let's take a look at that. And here I'm going to use trim. So with both circles selected, let's trim it and you can select with shift and simply move that okay and now that you moved it you'll find that the intersected area is now gone so basically you created another shape with the help of that trim option so if you get the circle closer to this one it will try and create a new graphic out of it. Many logos look something similar to this. So trim option can be useful to create a shape out of let's say ellipse or rectangular shape and then design more co complex graphics. Okay so let's do the control Z and now let's select this again. Now the third option is intersect. Now, if you want to find out how much area is intersected and if you only want to take that out, then you have to select these two and use intersect. Okay, so let me just create this all over again so as to avoid the things that happened in our earlier two examples. So we have our first circle. Now let me create this complex shape. And here I'm going to use this orange color. Now here I'm going to select these two and going to intersect. And you'll find that the intersected area is now highlighted. You can use shift and simply move this. Select again, call for intersect. and move that part outside this. 
and you will find that you have new shape completely designed by intersection of these two shapes now you can select this you can add some color or you can even add some outline if you want okay so you get the idea that you can use trim weld and intersect to create complex shapes out of intersection of two or more objects